Audio signals can be measured using a variety of audio meters. In the audio industry, we can find different types like VU, RMS, PIC, and FS. Any of these can be used as long as we know how they work and what they are showing us. VU stands for units of volume. They are used mostly in analog devices. Since they are mechanical devices, they have very slow response, so the integration time is about 300 milliseconds. They are intended to reflect the loudness of a signal, and the zero VU is equivalent to plus 4 dBm or 1.23 volts. RMS meters measure the root mean square of a signal, the amount of energy of a signal. We can find them in analog or digital devices. They also have a slower response, but the integration time is much faster than VU meters, usually about 50 milliseconds. They are intended to reflect the amount of energy or how loud a signal is. The measurement of RMS meters is in dBU. Peak meters are very similar. They measure the peak of a signal. They can also be found in analog or digital devices, but the main difference is that they have very fast response. The integration time is usually in the range of 5 milliseconds. They are intended to reflect how hard we are driving a circuit, so they will give us an instant response to an incoming signal. Measurements are also done in dBU. FS or full-scale meters are very similar to peak meters, but they are used only on digital systems. They have a very fast response with an integration time of about 5 milliseconds, and they are intended to reflect when digital distortion will occur. Their measurements are always in dBFS. Since we can have multiple audio devices connected together, it's good to understand the relationship between the units using different meters. This table shows that 0 VU is equivalent to plus 4 dBU and to minus 20 dBFS according to the SIMT RP155 standard. Any changes above or below would correspond linearly to each other. Audio signals can be measured in RMS, peak or full scale values. RMS will give us a better idea on how loud a signal is. Peak measurements will indicate where the signal is in relation to the limits of a sound system. Full scale will indicate when digital saturation will occur. There is no rule as to which meter to use at any given stage of a signal flow. But in general, peak meters are going to be better for uncompressed analog inputs. This will ensure better signal-to-noise ratio, as we can keep a smaller ratio between signal peak and system peak levels. RMS meters are better for compressed signals either on inputs or outputs. They allow consistent metering throughout the system while keeping enough headroom for peaks. Mm -hmm.